Welcome to the Whiskey Vault where we now review mystery whiskeys. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I am Rex. This is from Robert Brace. Robert Brace, you make them bad. I wonder what's the record for the quickest Magnificent Bastard shout out in an episode. Because used to we'd get like this long build up and then we eventually get there. Now it's all of but five. You, you might have to feel rushed though. Five seconds in. All right, let's take our time. Okay. <laughs> I did pretty good slow motion oh. there too. That was, oh. that was oh. a lot of work. That was effort. Yeah, your <laughs> never, eyes are watering. Never doing that again. So here's the thing. That's I, the most exercise I've had in a month, man. This is Ryo Japanese whiskey. I'm pretty sure you can get it at Trader Joe's. Okay. Right? Um, this is the most... 40%. I researched this whiskey for two hours. And I still don't know who made it or what's in it. Well, it's imported from Osaka Imports. In Osaka, in the rain. Little math electrician for you. Sure. So, um, did you know, I'm gonna blow your mind right now, Japan is one of the only countries we'll hold it in. that you can source whiskey from other countries and bottle it as Japanese whiskey. Really? Do you think maybe that's, no, the Japanese whiskeys that, that we've had before. Yeah, they could said, be sourcing from Scotland. Because we said, man, this is super scotchy. Yeah, you Nika, scotch. Nika and Yamazaki have both sourced whiskey from Scotland that goes into some of their brand names. It's blended usually with their own stuff. All right. But this is becoming even more common because they are running out of whiskey stocks. As a matter of fact, because of the crash and rush on Japanese whiskey, right. they're 10 years behind. And a couple of brands have had to eliminate all age statement whiskeys because otherwise they wouldn't have anything to sell. Yeah. And so they are sourcing whiskeys from, uh, and remember, this is a little island. So even the, the, the companies like Nika and Centauri, who own multiple distilleries, will only work with their own distilleries or sourced other countries to make blends. But they don't usually work together. Like in Scotland, well, they'll mix multiple distilleries together. Mm -hmm. In Japan, that's only common if you own all the distilleries. Yeah, so I don't know what the hell this is. I'm <laughs> guessing it's a grain whiskey. Right. Uh, you know, I decided once I realized I couldn't find anything. You know, you, he, instead he of probably taking, sent it to you because he didn't know. No, he and, and he wanted. He brought it because it's interesting. He wanted he somebody to, to figure it out. So I normally I drink beforehand and I write down my notes. What is I this? did not do that with this whiskey. Once I realized there was no information out there, I decided to just cold read this thing. Which, like, the mentalist. If left to my own devices, <laughs> that would be every episode. Yeah, totally. We would just grab random bottles and start talking about it. Like, we knew what we were talking about. No, but I'm, you insist on knowing what you're talking about, which is thoroughly annoying. For science. Eh, that's not science. That's uh, at first blush, it's reminding me of Irish whiskey. Irish? Yeah. I was thinking uh, one of the more friendly Scotch. No, I'm getting that I'm getting that butter note. Could be a blended scotch. It's really friendly, not overly sweet. Apple and... It's a budget Irish whiskey. The budget, but it's 40% and it tastes like 40%, but it's not bad flavors. It's just no, it's not overly complex. There's a couple things going on. A lot of budget Irish tastes metallic to me. Okay. There's no metallic note in this. So let's... So compare, that's good. Let's compare it to the iconic... I don't know if Jameson is budget, it, but it's it getting there. It, it's getting there. Jameson is getting damn near budget. Well, the classic Jamie, Jamie is. Yeah, let's compare it to that. Yeah, I like that. Just for uh, background whiskey. Short people got background whiskey. No reason. No reason to You know live. what? This is, uh, the Jameson is more vibrant on the nose. Oh, way more vibrant. Mm hmm And a little more soapy, too. Soapy? Yeah, smell that again and think a uh, good clean hand soap. This is a little more musty. Like this has been in a dusty old yeah. shit, like a closet or something. Yeah, this does smell cleaner. So if you like Jameson, you'd like this. Yeah, this is gonna be the Japanese version of Jameson. <laughs> yeah, they. I would put them on the same level. 
Yeah, they're within 20% of, I mean, if I had to categorize by flavor instead of by region, I'd put these right side by side. Mm-hmm. So, Rio, Ryo, probably Ryo. Rio. Ryo. Don't you anime? The, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Ryo. It's Ryo. The Jameson of Japan. We just came up with our new slogan. The Jameson of Japan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not going to get the You know what, I gotta, at I, all. I gotta admit, the fact that... I'm learning with my brain right now that Japanese distilleries source a lot of stuff from other countries. Mm -hmm. Makes me think Japanese whiskey is a little bit less magical. Uh, it's not for the ones you love. Okay. Right? So, like those ones that we tasted that you were like, wow, like yeah. the age statement Yamazaki, yeah. the Miyagikyo, and yeah. the Yoichis, those are actually from those distilleries. I agree, let's sample them what all. What we're talking about in when they source. Yes. We're talking about things like uh, to not Toki, or uh, it's not over here. Quit stealing my whiskey, please. Grab it. I'm not stealing your whiskey. I didn't touch your whiskey. Mm. Just so paranoid. So paranoid, Daniel. Grab one of those really good ones that we like to compare it to the Jameson of Japanese well, whiskey. Well, we'll do the... Ryan Ellis. Uh, you should yeah, definitely you do... Steal. You should... De I didn't steal... <laughs> Look, man. There's no stealing. Chat, don't even edit, man. Just leave him No, you stole the Jamie. No. And oh. take it over to your side. Well, we both know the shared whiskeys eventually make their way to me. <laughs> That's just policy. No, all I ever do is sit in my office and drink whiskey. Everybody knows that. The number of people that come up to us, like, oh, come on. That's guys, so much better. You guys have the life. You're just hanging out, drinking whiskey, making yeah. videos. It's like Living the dream, <laughs> the guys. Hell. Living the dream. This is a different creature. This is just... Even on the nose, this is this is another leak. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. It's not. This is like comparing like a good green spot or red breast twelve or something like that to the budget Jameson. It's not a fair comparison. No, it's not. Yeah. How much more would something like this be compared to? A lot more. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably under thirty dollars. Okay. And this is probably one fifty to five hundred, depending on where you found it. So again, the, the concept that I trot out pretty often is the idea of background whiskeys and hero whiskeys. Mm -hmm. Background whiskeys are ones that are nice, they're enjoyable, but and they're not going to distract you from the thing that you're actually paying attention to. Yeah, including for. not distracting you by being bad. Yeah. Because that's a thing. Now, whenever it's a hero whiskey and you're justifying paying, you know, a chunk of money, oh, I just it's found the thing that everybody's focused on and they're picking it apart, they're they're analyzing it. Get your budget whiskey back. Okay. And roll it in the glass. That's it. Jameson. And the nose jumps out this as tobacco. That must it can it comes alive. The mustiness turns to Yes, tobacco. the muskiness turns to an aromatic tobacco. Pipe tobacco. Huh. It gets way better. It does. See if that affects the taste. Well the nose does, yeah. No, tastes the same. Yeah. Tastes the same. <laughs> Ryan Ellis. Damn uh, it! <laughs> you should definitely do a middle finger bottle. In a tube sock. Yes. So it's revealed. <laughs> Maybe a blend of this Garrison and Springbank. Yeah. Oh. I think that might be a challenge. Also, no. You're, well, you're still here. What do you think would happen? You should we... be halfway through. You should be halfway through blending Garrisons and Springbank by now. What was it, Garrison? Springbank. Here's my Garrison. I'm gonna use the classic Garrison instead of the fancy one. Also, food and I'm gonna do half and half. Also, food for thought, Rex. All of Daniel's informative, informative storytelling and musings are the show's fiddly bits. Ah. <laughs> I like that theory. The fiddly bits. Okay, I'm gonna go with Springbank Ten and Garrison Bourbon. Yeah. And I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. Ah, I don't mind the smell. Oh man! Whoa! That is oh! Wow! That'll put some hair on your chest, <laughs> oh, on the nose. Like I haven't gotten to taste yet. This is damn near. That is not pleasant. This is damn near turpentine. Yeah, this is. Wow! This is a combination of all the worst parts of Springbank and Garrison. This is an international incident in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Oh, dude. I'm not okay with that. Yeah, oh, I don't know, man. I, even the nose is really scaring me off. Yeah. I gotta go in. Taste it, because all you get is chewing on barrel and then finish it with a wet band-aid. Start with barrel wood, end with wet band-aid. I'm not wrong. <laughs> uh. 
Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> DQ09. Love the reviews. I've been watching for a while and glad you guys sipped one of my favorite whiskeys as opposed to those earlier reviews. I noticed a lot of magnificent bastardizing happening in the channel. This got me thinking. A limerick. A limerick! Maybe we go out on a limerick. There once were two men from Texas who review whiskey for the masses. Mm. One claims he's a mooch, but the other gets shipped free hooch. <laughs> I believe we now have two Rexes. <laughs> So the height of my arrival yeah. is becoming Rex. You have graduated to my status. <laughs> I don't even know if I can do the normal toast out on that. No, just uh, congratulations being me, bro. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, drop a question or comment down below.